Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to do Rachel's Challenge today. And I've just pulled out a variety of things. I can't remember what she said, what she named it, but you'll see. Look in the link below. <laughs> so these are some of our digitals that I have just printed on the back. And these are over on our website. I'll link them below. They're just some old letters and old documents and things that I had in my stash. And I scanned them and put them in here. This is a part of an old book. Look at that. That was an old brad that was in there. <laughs> very, very neat. So we're going to use these. And then I have a few of... These are Betty's Digitals. I think they actually she made them for, for a freebie for us. So we're going to use some of these and get started. I think I'll start with this one. And she just tore around hers. And she didn't tear ahead of time, she said. so that Because that was part of the process. So that's what we're going to do. Now, if you don't want to hear the tearing which I love to hear the tearing, but if you don't want to hear the tearing, you can turn your volume down, or you can just skip through some of the tearing, but I'm going to tear one, and I'm going to make it, so I'm not going to tear all of them and then make them, like I will start working on this one right away. All right, now I'm going to ink around mine and make it a little bit uh, rougher looking, older. That's not something that Rachel does, and that's fine. A lot of people don't ink, but I like to. So I'm just going to ink around it. Cover up any of that white that I might not have torn off. Then she took them and she folded them in half. And it's been a day or two since I've watched it, so bear with me. <laughs> All right, since you fold it in in half, I'm going to ink it here. It's going to make it look even older when you fold it out. See? And then she folded this up. So I'm going to fold that up. There we go. All right, we're going to lay that one aside, and then we're going to do another. And I will, when I get all of these torn and inked and folded, then I'll start putting the uh, embellishments in them, the different papers in them, things like that. Oops. This was a very old tariff. Arrangements have been made with the West India and Panama Telegraph Company to quote a through rate on cable messages between points in Costa Rica and New Orleans. Isn't that something? 51 cents per word. Wow. That was pretty expensive, I think. Back then, this was 1912. Another one of those old documents that I had in my stash. So I have started back making a few digitals, and then Betty is still working on digitals for us. So I have got a few already up to sell, and then every time I make one or two, then I always make a freebie for you guys too. So make sure you check out our blog and download those freebies. So I try to give you a freebie every time I put up one for sale. And Betty is, um, y'all keep Betty in your prayers. She's not, I don't think she's as sick anymore. She said she was feeling a lot better. But they have changed her diabetic medicine, and it has been wreaking havoc on her. So just pray for her that she feels better. She said last night that she was feeling a little bit better, that her sugar was back in control. So just keep her in your prayers. I know how that is when they change your medicine. It is not fun. They've changed mine two or three times, and it, it tends to mess you up every time they change it. I think she's on a, a new one now, so hopefully it will help her out. 
Okay, and this is an old letter. This is 1887 that I have, that I had in my stash. Isn't that something? Just love that writing. And I will try to remember to link these, all these digitals. Now, even though this writing down here is going to be upside down, that's okay because we're going to put some little focal point there. These are going to go in your journal. You can either clip them in, put them in a pocket, and they're going to be filled with all kinds of good vintage ephemera. It's another old letter that I've had in my stash. This is 1911, and it's another tariff. The Wireless Department. I love reading some of this stuff. I've got the originals, and I have read all of them throughout. Wow. Love it. Uh, let's see. I think I'm just going to tear this kind of crooked like it is. Because that whole top part was missing off of this one. Oh, I forgot. She's been saving. She was saving these to use as belly bands. And I've been throwing them in the trash. So I need to start saving those. Because I did print on the back. You guys knew I'd forget something, didn't you? <laughs> oh, and something else she did. And see, I'm just remembering as I'm going through. She also like folded over a piece of this to give it a little bit more of a vintage look. So we're going to do that. I'll go back and do that on those others. And you could also like just fold a little piece like that and put a little ink on it and see how that just gives it a different look. It makes these documents look more real rather than just copied. So we'll fold that up and then she folded a little piece down here too. You could even tear a little piece off if you wanted to. Lots of different ways that you can make these look really, really older than what they are. I think on that one I'm going to really crinkle it. <laughs> like that. Same thing up here. Because that's that was really crinkled when I started to scan it so we'll just put that crinkle right back in there there we go do this one and i just tore that one so that's okay there we go now we're caught back up i had to remember as i was going through what she did and let's see this is an old letter too look at that look at that writing I just love to look at some of the old writing. They took time with their writing. They didn't just slop something down there, which is, this, this is not a really good writing, but most of them, most of the old ones that had the writing on them, they were just really pretty font. This one is not quite so pretty. All right, I'm gonna tear that out right there because that was torn out of the original. Now, there's a good piece that we can use as a belly band in that one. Those will be too short. So I hope you guys had a good weekend. I had a pretty good one up until yesterday, and I had a really bad migraine. But uh, one of those... One of those deals where you just have to deal with it. And look, this one was folded already. I didn't put that ink on there. That was the old fold in the, in the letter. So, like that. And since that's got a torn place up there, I'm just going to fold that back a little bit.
cool I like that now I want to do this one definitely and this is just our tear ruler that I'm tearing this with a lot of people ask me what it is and it's just our tear ruler um, it comes in a three piece I very seldom use the other two because they're they're a little bit tougher to tear but I use them sometimes like if this one's got a like a, almost a half of a chevron pattern this one if you want waves this one does a good one so those are they come three to a set we have sold a ton of those over the years and I love mine and this one already had really really old dark corners and edges but I'm going to put some of that back on there. And I just love that old brad in the top. I tell you, I like to never got that thing out. I had to be real careful because it was rusty. And I, I uh, tried to be careful so that I wouldn't break it and it get in my finger. But it was, it was about that long and about as big as my thumbnail. And it was... D. It had a stack of papers, you know, pretty big, all hooked together. I said, if that Brad could only talk, what would it say? It has seen a lot over the years, I suppose. Okay, let's see. Let's do one or two more let's see that we've already done that one and that one let's do one of these just do one of these and it doesn't have to be old letters and things this is like old advertisements old magazine page can be things like this this is 1895 October 5th so it can be stuff like this too now I don't think I'm gonna have any Big pieces torn off of this one for a belly band, so I'll just I'll come up with belly band. Oops. And I actually printed a little bit of that on the back, and it turned out kind of pink. So, but that's okay. That, that's talking about a respiratory or lung preserver. <laughs> oh, me. Seems like we've come full scale, doesn't it? We still need those sometimes. Let's see. I don't want to cover up my date there, so I'm just going to fall back just a tiny bit. So we've got quite a few done. Well, to this point, and now we're gonna. I'm gonna get all of my little pieces like this together and gra drag them out of the garbage, and then we'll start putting some of this other ephemera and things in here and decorating them up. We have pulled out a lot of documents and different things. We're gonna get started on this. This is gonna be our belly band that's gonna go around here, and then that will create a pocket right there. And then I think she used some washi tape, so that's what we're going to use. I've got some here that I need to use up, so I'm just going to use some of it. It's not very sticky, so the person that gets it will be able to pull it off easy. And I think the object is, is what she was saying, that the person that gets this in their journal, they can either take this out and use it in other journals, use it in the one that they have. Okay, let's start off with, ooh, what we start off with? Maybe one of these book pages. It's a document. Oh, it's an old picture of the guard hall. Guild hall. I'll, I'll get that right in a minute. Guild hall. So we'll put that there. I have some 
little book pages that are very, very old. Thank God. Fold them up. And most of mine are so wide that I have to fold them. I can't remember if she folded hers or not, but mine are pretty wide. Now, I thought I would include one of these old pieces of um, calendar. This is 1925. I thought that'd be interesting to someone. It's interesting to me. And you know, if I put something in here that's not interesting to you and you don't like, you can always just throw it away. <laughs> throw it away or give it away. All right, put that in there. And then I have some just little small book pages here that we can tuck in. There we go, it was hanging on something. Just gonna put them at some different heights there. Then I just have some pieces of ephemera here that we can tuck in. That's an old Tim Holtz piece. And let's see. That's a very, very old piece. And then I've got one of my old checks. Now these are in my, these are in my digitals as well. This is 1946. So let's ink around that because I didn't get all of that white cover or off of there. I think that'll slide down in there, I believe. There we go. I'll put a, maybe one or two more pieces in here, and then that's going to be that one, and we'll go on to the next one. Let's see. What else am I might have over here in my... i got a bunch of stuff over here. Let's see. That's too wide. I guess I could cut it, but I don't want to right now. This one might work. See if we can slide that one down in there somewhere. Yeah, there we go. All right, now we need to put, she put a little focal point right here. So some of them she used a photo, some of them she used a little piece of ephemera. So let me see what I have. I think we might actually put that on there. That one or that one. I think I might do this one. I'm gonna trim it down just a little bit. It's just a um, copy of a vintage card, and it can be good for ephemera where you can journal on the back of it. Oh yeah, that'll go there. So, I'm going to ink it. And then we'll put that down right there. Now, I think she tucked hers under this like that. Hmm. Trying to decide. I think I might want to glue mine on top like that. No, if I do that, the person can't use it. So I'm going to put it in there like that. And I think here we'll just put a little butterfly, maybe. I can find one that'll kind of go. That'll work. And I think these are stickers. I always say that and then I can't get the back off of them. You know what? I don't want the back off of it anyway because if I do that, it will stick to this and I don't want it to. So I'm just going to glue it down. And it's going to be, um, the person can always take it off and use it if they want to. It's not going to be stuck like forever. So we will put that there. And that little piece goes there. And that one's ready to go in a journal. So I'm going to lay that one aside and we'll get another. Let's grab this one and get a belly band. Yeah, that'll work. Now I'm going to put, try to put this belly band a little bit tighter. The last one I got a little bit too loose, I think. Yeah, that should be a little bit better. And then we'll get a piece of washi. Right there. And now we can slide some things down in there. I'm going to grab a piece of this very, very old book here. It's, it even, the pages even feel different 
than what I'm used to. Let's see, and I am going to have to fold some of these up. You wouldn't have to fold them up, you could leave them sticking out the top, but I don't want mine taller than what this is. So I'm going to do it that way. Well, let's see, I think I have some more that have photos on them here. Yeah. Let's see, the Canadian rug maker. Put that on there. I have no idea who that is, but it comes from my old book. And then I thought this was pretty neat. This is part of an old ledger sheet. And I think we'll be able to get this in there. I may have to fold it. I don't know. Hopefully it won't break. It's November 1883, so that's a few days ago. Okay, that's going to have to go in another one. I didn't fold it well enough. We'll go with another calendar page. And these are, these are not copies. These are original calendar pages. So they're not digitals. Trying to put as much real in here as I can. Originals, real. I'm putting real stuff in here. Now I would put some of these. They're very, very brittle. I guess I could put them in. Then if the person doesn't like it, they can always throw it out. Here's an old map. Put that in there from a vintage book. Okay. Now, I think these, since these are so old, I'm not going to fold them. I'm going to leave them. Because they're so old, I'm afraid if I fold them, they're going to really crack. That's a piece from an old Bible. That's Romans. We got this piece. This is not very old, but it's a good piece that you could put. It's in your journal. It is a digital of sorts. Okay, I'll put that there. And that's going to be too wide. Alright, let's go with another one of my old vintage checks. This one is... Oh, this is 1943. This is not quite so old. And, let's see, this is a piece of tapestry that's a digital, and I have that in my digitals as well. I'll put that in there for a little bit of color. Oops. Helps a lot if you fold it better. I think that's enough up there. I'll go ahead and fold that down because it wants to fold anyway. I think I'll put that on there. That's just an old copy of a, or a copy of an old stamp. I'll get that out in a minute. An old copy. And I think I am going to glue this one on here. If the person wants to use it, all they have to do is cut the edges. And we'll put something else behind it. Behind that little piece. All right, then we can tuck something else in behind there. That won't work. We've got this lady, but I'll use her on another one. What about an old Watkins receipt? This is, this is 1943, but it's, a, it's an original. And I'm not going to fold it. I'm not going to crease it too much. I'm just barely folding it. Just so that you can... Straighten it back out and use it if you want. There we go. So there's that one. Love these. Thank you, Rachel. Alright, let's do this one. And I think I'll be able to get some of my bigger pieces in this. This one's a little bit larger. Ooh, I may not, my billy band may not be big enough though. Let's see. 
Yeah, just barely. That's that belly band will work. We can put some things on it so it'll be all right. Okay, piece of washi. There we go. All right, now let's start tucking some things in. I'm gonna grab a old piece of book page. This is one that somebody had tried to copy dye maybe a long time ago, or either they spilled coffee on it. Okay, I'm just gonna let that stick out of the top. I'm not gonna worry about holding it over. There's some very, very old handwriting. I'll put that in there. It's probably gonna crack, but you can use pieces of it for collaging. And then, Let's put this in there. And I may tear a little bit of this off around the edges. So most of my vintage pieces are pretty big. They're not real small, so some of mine I have to fold, but that's all right. I use folded pieces all the time. Okay. And like I said, if they crack, then I just use them for collaging. Or to make clusters out of. Okay. About there. Let's put this piece in there. Another old book page. And then, this is an old envelope. Um, people have written on it like Seattle Fair, 1962. It's just a vintage envelope, it's all in the world it is. I'm gonna stick that in there. If I can, get in there, there we go. And then this is an old um, document that I did a digital with. What about an old page of SNH green stamps? <laughs> Those are old, aren't they? I'm gonna stick that in there. All right, and then we was gonna put this in this one because it's a little bit bigger. And let's see. And I was gonna tuck this lady, but I think I'm gonna back her with something. She's trying to roll up a little bit, so let me back her with some paper. Okay, I'm just going to back her on this. This is just a piece of book page that comes out of the front of those books that I use. And I save those pieces. They make really good backings for your ephemera. Sorry, somebody was knocking on my door and I was distracted. Oh, this one's this one is old. It's <laughs> you don't even have to pull on it to tear it. Okay, let's put this down in there. Okay, all right, and then we need to put something right here. And I thought about this on there. You can tuck that behind. Then put something else here. Let's do that. This is a piece of Tim Holtz ephemera. It's not not old old, but it's good to use in your journals. Right, and then we'll put something else right here. This one I filled really full. I may go back and add more to the other ones. All right, what do we think about that piece? I think I'll use this one. And I am just going to trim it off a little bit more. And I am going to glue it just right there. Like I said, if the person doesn't want it glued and if you want to use it in your journal, you can just trim that belly band off and use away. Right there's that one. I love these. Okay, I went and pulled out some more goodies. So I'm going to put these in there. This is a little, an old 
grocery receipt. Well, it could be filled in as a receipt. It's from the 70s. It's not quite that old, but they're fun to play with. I use them for tags sometimes. Right, put that in there. Then I think I'm going to tuck this Tim Holtz piece in here. And then I've just got some different little pieces pulled out here that I thought might work well here. That little tag in there and maybe we'll put that little piece on the front. Okay. These are little embossed things. I really don't know what they are and where I got them. I may have got them from one of you guys. I'm going to ink this tag because it I think it would look better if it was inked. It felt like more than one, but I guess it's just thick. So I'll put that there, and then I'm just going to stick a little bit of glue in the middle and put that there. And it just says London, place I would love to go. All right, there we go. So that one is nice and full. All right, I think we've got two more that we'll do. Got this one. So let's grab a. That one will work down there with a little washi. Now I've got this old bingo card, and I think that's going to slide right down in there. And this is not a copy. This is. I don't know when they made them that small, but there's a little bingo card. And then here's another check, but I'm going to put some bigger stuff in there first in the back. I'm going to put one of these um, 1859 book pages in here. Now somebody asked me um, when I was talking about the rag paper the other day. Somebody said, well, what is rag paper? Well... From what I understand from Rachel, and I, I get all of this information from her because she um, she deals with all of these people and all these old vintage things. Years ago, in the um, early 1800s, something like that, they used to make books by using old rags. So your books weren't made out of paper, just plain paper, like they are today. They was made from rags. So thus, rag paper. And they were very thick. The rag paper is very thick. It's not a thin paper at all. And it's hard to tear because it does have the rags in it. I don't know that it was 100% rag paper, but it had rags in it. So it might have been part rags and part paper and uh, part who knows what. I think I'll put this little book page in there. I don't know what that is and where it came from, but it'll add a little color down in there. And let's put this old advertisement sheet in there. That's pretty neat. Look at those stockings or those shoes and then the... Um, socks and they had that little garter thing that held them up that's a few moons ago okay stick that in there and let's see this is an old vintage piece that I need to back with something so I have another piece of book page here that's plain on the back I don't think I do there but I do here. So this is a good way to, you know, use up a lot of your bits and pieces and then have them for your journals or for whose ever journal you're selling it to or giving it to. And They'll have lots of nice ephemera to use as well. Look at that. I put the printed one in the front. Oh, well. It'll work. It'll still work. That's because I was talking. 
I'm just going to trim just a tiny bit of that, that off. I like the little holes that you can see where the book was stitched in or where the page was stitched in the book, I should say. Talking backwards today. Anybody else ever do that? I spend a lot of my time talking backwards. <laughs> okay, that'll go in there. We'll put this little guest check in there. Um, what else have we got? Let's put another one of these checks in there. I think I'll put that right now. I'm going to tuck that in there because I think I have something else to go in the front there. And I thought I would put this in there. This is uh, someone's little list for buttons. Isn't that neat? I've got a couple of those, and I've used one in a journal before. Let's put this piece on there. And I, I know this is going to be... No, let's see. Let's put this one on there. I'm going to trim it. And it's probably going to be way big, but we're going to use it anyway. And this is some vintage ephemera. Um, I think I got this from Betty, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that'll work. And I'm going to round the corners just a little bit. Okay, we'll tuck that little piece in there. I think I'll also add one of these little flashcards down in there. I like to use those too in my journals. Now I'd like to have something right here on the front. I have this little flower laying there, but that's going to be too light, I think. Oh, well, maybe not. Let's put that on there. And this is a sticker, but I think I can put it sideways and it won't uh, affect that back. If I can get the backing off. If I can't, then it'll just go on back with some glue. There we go. Yeah, we can put it that way. There we go. Uh, Alright, I'm going to tuck that little piece under because it's trying to stick to that back page. So that's that one. And I may go back and put some little stickers on different ones. I like that. That one's done. Let's go ahead and do this one. So belly band. Let's get a wider one. Yeah, that one will work. So my kiddos are going to be off singing all weekend. They're at uh, some kind of convention all weekend from Thursday on. So I would go, but I need to stay and run the store since all of them are going to be gone. Okay. Was she on there? Oh my goodness, you won't believe. I just looked in the floor where my garbage can is supposed to be. And evidently my garbage can is not there. <laughs> so I have been throwing all this trash in the floor. I guess Aaron must have emptied my garbage can. And uh, I don't know. He didn't put it back where it was. Where it was supposed to be. Which is not normal for him. Normally he everything goes right back where it was. But uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm throwing everything in the floor. Now i got to clean the floor up when I finish. Okay, we'll put that one in the back and let it just stand up a little bit taller. I don't mind that. Let's do one of these vintage. And I'm just going to fold that there. And like I said, this paper is cracking. But if you, you can just use it for collage. That's what I do with all of this old, old paper. Music pages and... Um, book pages I use them for collaging and they work fantastic and it's better than throwing them out okay that one's almost too big there we go and let's see do we have anything else over here that we want to put in there what about this old map I think I can tear part of that off though So 
So these are fun, and they're nice additions to your journals. I think I would like to get these in my journals just to see what all is inside. Okay, let's see if I can just put this to the side and not throw it on the floor. Then let's go with a check again, a whole check. And an old grocery receipt, or I guess this is this is what they used to actually write out what you got at the grocery store. I remember these, I really do. That's a little bit too wide. I guess I'm gonna have to fold it. Yeah, I can remember remember when my dad and I would go to the grocery store because my mother never went to the grocery store. It was always me and my dad and they would everything that he got you know they would write in on one of those little receipt things all right i think i'm gonna have to trim that off but i want to put that in there or maybe this one yeah let's put this one in there so i'm gonna trim it off i don't ever remember my mother going to the grocery store my dad always did the grocery shopping not that he wanted to, I don't think. It was just she didn't she wouldn't go. And so somebody had to go. And I liked to go with him because he would always get me a little piece of candy when we would go. Usually it was um does anybody remember uh, those banana kisses? Who remembers banana kisses? Usually he'd get me a little banana kiss. And sometimes an RC, I loved that. Loved going with him to the store. Now, if my mother had went to the store and I had gone with her, she wouldn't have got me that. So I enjoyed going with my daddy. I was the daddy's girl, I guess you can tell. Okay, look at that postcard. I think I'm going to put that postcard down in there. That's cute with all those elephants on it. Yep, I worked in the garden with my dad. He always raised a garden big enough to feed an army. And I uh, worked in the garden with him. I worked in the cotton field with him, in the hay field with him. I was just daddy's girl. I did whatever daddy did. All right, let's see. I think we'll just put that on there. Okay, there we go. And I think I only have, do I even have another one? I was saying, no, I have one more, and then that's going to be all. So we're going to do this one really quick, and that's going to be it. Well, these are so fun. I may keep doing these, though. I've got lots more stuff here on my desk that I could include in these. Washi. Let's put a piece of this one on there. All right, let's start out with some book page. Put that down in there. I think I'm going to take this old, old book page. Look at that writing on there. Isn't that neat? Okay, we're going to finish this one up. Sorry, I had to... Turn my camera off for a minute and go take care of some packages. But we're going to finish this one and then I'll show you all of them that we have done. I did go back and stuff the other ones a little bit fuller. I want to make sure I give the person plenty of goodies in these little kits. And Rachel was saying that you could even um, make these up with vintage ephemera and put them in your Etsy store or you know your regular store whatever you got and sell them if I had time I would do that I don't have time to do that but that would be a good idea if you have a lot of vintage ephemera and I'm just putting in this is just a it almost looks like a uh, prescription but it's inner office memo from 1971 it's just it's an original so thought I would tuck that in there Let's see I already got one of those in 
and then put this piece nope that's too big what about that one maybe that one will go here will it i think so yeah put that there that just says public library and tuck a few more pieces in here and you could always tuck something in that other that other spot right there matter of fact let's just tuck that in there and I'm just trying to leave these to where a little piece of them will show. It doesn't have to, but I just thought that was fun. And I think I'll put that one in with that one. And here's a little piece of ephemera. I got one of those in there. Let's put uh, this old, old map. Look at that. That is old. Like when they get older than me, they're old. I'm as old as dirt. Okay, I don't know if that one's going to go in there or not. It's kind of fragile, and I don't want to shove it because I'm afraid it'll tear. No, let's don't try to put that one in there. We'll put that one in something else. Maybe another one that we make. Okay, stick that one down in there. And there's an, oh, that's uh, talking about different stamps. That's pretty neat. All right, put that one there. Got one of those in there. Let's just stick this down in there like that. And this little piece, put in there too. And then we'll glue that there, I think. So I'm just stepping them as full as I can get them. Super cute. I like that. Okay. I think I might pull that out and tear that little bit off. Just that little bit of white at the top and bottom. Or not white. It's actually a good color to stamp on. And then we'll tuck that back in. There we go. Now we've got all those showing. Oh, I like that. Okay, there's that one. All right, I'll show you all of them that we made. There's that one. They're better if you can make them a little wider like I did that one. So we actually had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We made seven of them. And of course, I'm sure I went over the 40 minutes, but as Rachel said, that's just... Her timer, she, you don't have to do it in 40 minutes, but isn't that cute? I love those. So now these will go in my journals that you guys get. And you can take them apart, use the pieces that's in them, or just go through and read them, read all the pieces in there, whatever you'd like to do. All right, guys, we will talk to you later. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you like this type of video. And we will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.